Hey guys, Rochette here from rnbsinginglessons.com with another singing pitch trainer tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use the auto repeat feature so you can learn vibrato. Okay, so vibrato is very, very hard to learn because it goes very fast. Okay, so the way we're going to learn it is to practice the movement of vibrato, the bouncing sensation, and gradually build speed on that so we can get fast enough on different vowels and different sound and different words, for example and different notes so that we can eventually go back to the song and then practice with the song slowed down with the actual singer all right so here's how you use this feature so let's say we're going to pick a note uh, okay that's a straight note so i'm just doing it with ah uh. now i want you to learn the vowels you can do it on it can be a uh, e e o u and a uh, as in when you say go girl like when you say girl so a uh, e eh, E, O, U, E. So it sounds like, let's put this on repeat. A, E, E, O, U, E. Those are the different sounds that vibrato will happen on, okay? And when you hear a song, that's the notes they're going to be sung on. Now, once I press repeat here, so press the note you want to practice on, you press repeat. And what repeat will do is it'll give you an option. I'm just going to mute it while I'm talking with an A for a cappella. Auto speed up option. Okay, so every so many reps that you enter, it'll automatically go up. Now for vibrato, we start on the 16th. Okay, we start training with the 16th. This is what it sounds like. Ready? That's what it sounds like at 30. Uh, this is an extremely slow vibrato. Vibrato is never this slow. This is only for learning purposes, okay? So you gotta, you got to start here to get faster. Most people do, okay? So, uh, it'll be like that. So watch my pitch. It's staying in the center on the green bar, okay? But it just moves around it as I bounce. But it comes back to the center always because that's the main note. So watch. Uh, You can notice I'm doing head movements, okay? That can help someone notice that feeling. Ah, you can do it without it. Ah, but you want to, if you want to start with helping, that's fine. Start with using your head. Ah, okay, and also count how many you're doing. So now we're going to do four, okay? We're going to do four bounces, and we're going to do four reps of four, okay? So we'll turn this on. Oh. That's four. Three. It's another four. It's another four. That's another four. So once that many happen, I've entered four here, this will go up automatically by five. Okay, watch. So here we go. I'm going to start it now so you can see. It's gone up by five, see? five okay so you can see now how the auto repeat feature works i'll just stop it okay you can start that at any speed so i recommend you start very slow and you work up uh, like that and you can do it on all the vowels e, o, e, u, a. okay so if you're having performance issues you can turn the chart off so i recommend you keep the chart on and check your pitch okay until you get up to about at least 60 70 80 and then you can turn the chart off to make sure there's no performance issues sometimes it might lag okay <coughs> okay so the way i want you to do that is on different notes so do it across all different notes but stick to one note and then just go all the way to the as fast as you can go then do another note and do another note. Now you don't have to do it all in one day because it's a lot to do. Okay, so for example, uh, let me continue. I'll show you what it sounds like when I continue. Turn the chart off. That's what it sounds like without it. Now what you can do there's two ways to practice it, okay? 
you can either you can do like count how many bounces you want to do so for example four is a good place to start you go uh, one two three four uh, and then pause for four and then sing f and then do it again for four okay and another way is to go like um, four eight if you want uh, but in groups in groupings of four so a good way to start is just to do four okay for the short vibrato that happen in songs and then to do the long one for the long vibrato that happen in songs like eight okay so four and eight is a great place to start to learning to control your vibrato watch me I'm going to demonstrate going faster for you uh, uh, notes in the center top speed 140 uh, that's as fast as it's going to get in songs okay so if, if you're singing uh, a song senorita senorita it's not going to get much faster than that okay happy birthday to you you it's not even that fast every song has a different tempo but if you can build your speed to get that fast you'll have covered most of the speeds that occur in songs okay hope that helps you work on that that's a very effective strategy students are having an amazing time it's the fastest vibrato development I've ever experienced with using this method so with uh, my students. So hopefully you can um, experience the same thing. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.